Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Angeles Crest. Uh, this should be really, really neat. Uh, we're back with Marco, uh, the owner of that beautiful 914.6 conversion, uh, and with, with your other car, which has an equal, that car you took to prom, which is a great story. Yeah. This car has an equally good story because you said it was your mom's car. Yeah, my dad <laughs> wanted to build a car, and so uh, in order to get around my mom saying no, he's like, oh, I'm gonna build you a car. Build and you then, a car. <laughs> and then when it was done, she goes, where's my car? <laughs> so he had to give it up. Oh, man. So, funny. this is a 1975 uh, 911 Carrera. Correct. That you have turbocharged. Yes. When my dad initially built it, he put a 3-liter non-intercooled uh, non -intercool turbo in it, and my mom wore it out. And then we put a naturally aspirated motor in it until I got it, and I put a turbo motor back in it. So, is this the turbo Carrera motor, or is it an aftermarket turbo? No, no, on no. A... It's all factory parts. Okay. So, But I took a 3-liter, I made it a 3.2. And I left it stock boost, non-intercooled, factory turbo wing, headers, and a, sort of a hooligan pipe. So know. it's not a turbo Carrera, because that would have been Porsche's car. This Correct. is a Carrera turbo. Correct. I'm so about this. This is a fun car. So how much power, give or take, does this motor make you? I want to say low threes. Three low threes. Ten, 310, 315. At the tires. At the, at the wheels, yeah. And this probably weighs 2,700 pounds, maybe? Less, 24. 24. Oh, really? 24, 2,500, Great. yeah. Great. And uh, I'm very excited. 915 gearbox, five-speed. Mm -hmm. Road is clear. European gearbox, so it's got long gears. Okay. A limited slip and an oil cooler. Great. <laughs> so uh, this is kind of a similar setup, yeah? Yeah, I think this car is a little more tractable than Derek's. It doesn't make as much power, but being that it's based on factory stuff as opposed to like aftermarket fuel injection and whatnot, I think the car is more tractable. This thing just feels, it, it wants to go. It wants to yeah. drive out from underneath me. And I haven't even, like, I've used a quarter throttle. I just, it feels like it's it's real eager to go. It wants to go fast. So this is my first vintage 911 since I became an owner. Congratulations. I'm now in the club. <laughs> and um, this car feels a little lighter than mine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it sounds so nice. Come on, Farah. Sorry. There's a, with the placement of this steering wheel, I'm having trouble bending my leg to heel toe properly. Oh, you don't like that big wheel? It's slightly different from mine. I just can't get my knee under there the right way. And these seats are a little different from mine as well, so it's, uh, it's just harder to make that move. I like the power, though. So what do you, is this just a street car for you? Do you go to yeah. track days with it? And I mean, I've tracked it before. It's a daily driver. Really? Yeah. Is this actually your daily driver? Uh, I, I press it into service a few times a week, a few times a month. So I have, I have like a lot of 911s to drive, so including client cars. So finding time to drive my own stuff is difficult. to drive it as often as possible. I feel like this has got the right amount of power. Yeah. It's not super scary. Like, it starts to build and you feel like it's about to get real scary, but then it stays there. Right? Yeah. Like, and then it just feels like, oh, we're going fast, but the car's not really going to get away from me. Beautiful. And tight as a drum after 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. She's got legs, huh? Oh, she's got legs. I think when I was at Chuck Walla with this car, I think I did like 130 or something like that. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just it, it just climbs right up the ladder, you know. So when you've got a, when you've got an air cooled engine with a non intercooled single turbo attached to it, 
At what point does that, oh, come on, let me buy. At what point does that system go, I'm too hot, no Oh, more. yeah. You can really feel it in the summertime. Yeah. Um, I try not to drive it too much in the summer because it heat soaks instantly. Really? And it dry, you'll lose 50 to 100, 100 horsepower. Will like, I continue running? Will oh, it yeah. overheat and act up or no. it'll just not make it the in, power it's supposed to In the summertime, this thing will run at 210 all day long uh -huh. in any temperature. Uh -huh. It just doesn't make any power. Okay. It does not perform. It can't breathe, you know? Yeah. You, you, you're trying to compress hot air, and it just doesn't fucking work. Oh, this guy's gonna drive me nuts. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're at this up there. We're gonna, we're gonna sort that out. Okay. Um, so, can you just? I mean, you drive it out of boost. You can, you know, yeah. whatever. But it's fine. See, if you don't boost this car, you can feel it just drives nicely. Well, it's you, a good driver. You have the technical ability and the means. Why not? It's hot here a lot. Why not just add um, an intercooler? Let's see, that's a very easy question to answer. I build my cars within a certain set of circumstances. Uh -huh. I build a box and I, I build my cars inside the box to prove that things can be done or to be period correct or to meet certain challenges that I set for myself. And uh -huh. this is one of those. Like I wanted a car that was low key-ish, yeah. right? It used all original parts, um, fit under a factory wing, you start putting intercoolers on it and you put a big box tail on it and right, like right, right. it ruins the look of the early Carrera body. Fair so. enough. You made up a game for yourself. Yeah, I mean I can do anything I want. Right, but so. you, you don't make up a game and then cheat at it. If nope. you make up a game, you gotta play your game. That's right. And Same now thing you know, with my Lexus. They say, why don't you just put that Lexus on a dyno until it gets to a million miles? Because you don't make up a game and then cheat. Exactly. Like this car, there are options, right? Like I could buy an uh, intercooler from a guy, um, Chris Carroll out of TurboCraft. He makes an intercooler that'll fit under this tail. So now that I've done what I need to do with this car, that's a very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. real option. Yeah, well, your goal has been achieved. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, I might want to drive quick in August once in a while. Exactly. Uh, and another thing is I can screw up, I can turn up the boost a little bit more. Right now we're running a factory 0.8, you know, 0.8 bar. So it's not, it's not a crazy motor. It'll, it should go 100,000 miles if not abused, you know. The three liter seems to feel, seems to be a little smoother than my three two. This is a three two. Oh, it is a three two. Yeah, it's a big bore three liter. Oh, is that how Porsche makes their three two as well? No, they do. They it. stroke it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What I, I do feel find, struggling a little yeah. bit. What I do find that's surprising me is when I go to do a blip on a downship is quite how big of a boot I've got to give it. Yeah, it's a I've heavy flywheel. a really wheel. big boot. Heavy flywheel. But you want that heavy flywheel so the rotating mass doesn't drop the R's between shifts. Right, right, right. So again, it's that game you play. Especially with this 915 gearbox where you kind of have to ease it in. You can't really power shift it. Right. I mean, this thing will outrun most things that I come across. You know, getting on the freeway yeah, or whatever. Oh, this is a fast car. Anymore. There's no question. In the in the grand spectrum of cars, this is a fast car. Oh, good. <laughs> it feels good. Although you mentioned you think one of the plugs might be fouled. I, I'm sensing just a small little yeah. hesitation. Also, we've been throttle. beating on it a little bit, too, so it starts to heat soak. Oh, yeah. You, know, like you start it, dropping huh? a hole a little bit. Yeah. Um, the heads are twin plugs, so if I put an intercooler on it and change the charge pipe, I can put a twin plug distributor in it and back some timing out of it, make a little more power, you know, and on and on and on it goes. Oh, that looks romantic. You guys get it on, get it on. <laughs> well, it sounds the business. So you, I mean, you said that 914, you built it a long time ago and haven't really messed with it so much since. How long has this been running for? Ooh, I don't know. Three years? Oh, a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have other projects that I do for clients. So right. My stuff, once it's done, it sits. Yeah, yeah. It stays together. I don't mess with prosperity, you know. When you're building something like this, do you have, do you, do you encounter new problems or have you seen every problem already? You know, it's not that you see every problem, it's, um, there's a formula that works and you stick to it. Yeah. You know, like it's an, it's an eight and a half to one compression motor. It shouldn't be, but it is, which is why it runs well off boost. You know, this car is tractable without having to spool up the turbo. What a lovely car. 
I get, I get this. Keep going. Oh, we gotta end the video. Oh shit. <laughs> gotta end the video. That's the thing. Well, maybe, yeah, exactly. Maybe just, just, just another mile or so. Just that little. I think there's a little hesitation there. It might yeah. be getting a little tired on us. I really like the feel at the front end. I like how it rides. This is this is a car that was built by someone not going to their first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been doing this a long time. No, I can. You can always tell. You can always tell when someone who's done this a bunch is doing it. It's it, it's. It just feels way more, all that shit they talk about, Widowmaker and Scary and all that. Maybe it, if you're going on the Nürburgring for time, maybe, but these cars shouldn't be that scary. They yeah. should be fun yep. and confidence inspiring. And when they're set up correctly, they tend to be just that. Yeah. The five speed really helps with this car because yeah. it comes up on boost quick and you're like, it's tractable. Yeah, I drove a 78 stock and I just, I didn't like that four speed at all. Zuckerman loves his four speeds though. Yeah, those fucking <laughs> jerks. Yeah. Oh, you're getting the brakes hot. Get them a little warm, a little bit. It's a beautiful car. Thanks. See, before we started this video, I commented on your 380 millimeter steering wheel. I think with my leg, I've got to go with the 365. Again, I'm a 360, shorter guy than yeah. you, so my knees don't interfere. But this the leverage on the front end. Car. Yeah, I get it. You see, sure. you yeah. can feel how yeah. much lighter it makes that front end. Yeah, so I, I talk about this in videos a lot because people use aftermarket wheels. By changing the size of your steering wheel, you can change the impression of steering feel by lengthening or shortening your lever arm on the column. Right. And so. The, my favorite one is downsizing the wheel for Corvettes. That uh -huh. really fixes a C5 Corvette steering. Really? Yeah. Um, that's my favorite biggie. Everyone does that. But uh, in this one, you've actually got kind of a big wheel with the no power steering, and it really helps you. Uh, I'll park this flat so we can let it cool. And it uh, it helps you uh, get a little more leverage when you've got no power steering. Wow, Marco. Two for two, buddy. <laughs> to plug the plug the shop. We uh, gotta plug the shop. Okay, so uh, we have a shop in North Hollywood. Um, TLG Auto. It's been there since 1978. Uh, second generation. So, so we got a pretty good team. Look, we got two two examples of fine driving vehicles built at the shop. I'm glad to know I've got another Porsche ally in the game. Uh, I don't always have to go to Orange County to get my <laughs> Porsches worked on. Um, thank you, Marco. That You're was welcome. that was a real treat. Um, these cars, I do a lot of 911s, but each one is different. And here, and you know, here we have a period style modified car that is very, very cool. You've won the game. Now put an intercooler on. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thanks Definitely. for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.